Today we're making semi-pro smash burgers. Why semi-pro instead of pro? Because professional smash burgers are smashed on the griddle directly. So for those of you who have a glass stove top at home, let's go ahead and smash them ahead of time. So what we're going to do is take a pound of meat, divide it into six even pieces. That gives us six nice thin burgers. We're going to go ahead and make those into small meatballs, smash them nice and thin and flat, set that aside. In the meantime, we're going to take a nice brioche bun. We're going to lightly butter that and we'll toast it on the griddle. So why toast a bun? When you toast a bun, it helps to keep the bun from getting soggy. It also adds that beautiful, nice caramelized flavor and that nice little crunch to it. So go ahead and start that on. Your griddle is a little lower temperature here. Set those buns aside, but keep them nice and close for when your burgers are done. Then you're going to go ahead and turn up the heat on that griddle. Look at those beautiful buns, nice and crispy and golden. So notice that the griddle is smoking hot. Go ahead and season your burgers. Place them on that nice hot griddle and give it a little smash. So a good smash, you want that meat to adhere to that, that griddle, form that crispy, nice caramelization. Let it cook until you see it about, cooked about halfway up the sides. Go ahead and season that, that other side. And then when you see it cooked about halfway up, go ahead and flip those and give it another little smash. Make sure that meat gets adhered to that nice, flat top griddle, I highly recommend using a black cast iron pan or a cast iron griddle. Once you flip that, immediately put that cheese on because these burgers are so thin, they're going to cook really quickly. So put that cheese on right away. And at this point, you might be wondering, well, what kind of meat should I use? So typically smash burgers, you use a high fat meat, like 80% meat, 20% fat. For me, I actually prefer grass-fed meat and bison, which is much leaner, but the burgers cook so fast that you're not going to dry them out. And look at how good that is. So once you get that cooked, remove it immediately from that grill and go ahead and put it on that bun and enjoy.